take you on a journey. <coughs> Flush with excitement. Do you have any idea what happens to that stuff after you flush it? I didn't think so. Well, I'm here to tell you all about it. And here to assist me in plumbing the depths of your wastewater knowledge is my protozoan pal, Mike Brome. Hey, good to see you. You know, he may be small, but Mike has a big role to play. Without the microbes of the world, none of us would even exist. Ah, oh, you're just saying that. Really? Oh, yeah! The first microbes appeared on Earth about 3.8 billion years ago. I look pretty good for my age. I hate to burst your bubble, but you're not that old. But your atoms are. They've been around since the beginning of time. How is that possible? Well, everything in the universe, all matter and all energy, is composed of atoms. The atoms never change, never have changed, never will change. New ones can't be created, and old ones can't be destroyed. What they can do, though, is change forms. You lost me there, pal. Oh, it's simple. Just keep your eye on that tiny red nitrogen atom. They're making me hungry. No way, pal. Bacteria have an important job to do. They gotta break down wastes and dead organisms into the basic nutrients that are essential for life on our planet. Yeah, I knew that. What did I tell you? Matter and energy may move from place to place, but in the long run, the total amount remains the same. You see, it's like... Hey, 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 no offense, old buddy, but would you please can it with the physics lecture? I wanna go on my big adventure through the south Cross Bayou Water Reclamation Facility. Can I, huh, huh? Can I please? I'll be your best friend. <laughs> okay, okay, pipe down, would you? You gotta learn to hold your water. Uh, maybe you're right. It's time you took the plunge. <laughs> Sorry, Mike, those are gravity pipes. The farther you fall, the more you're gonna accelerate. And you'll slow down once you hit the pumping station. I made it! South Cross Bayou. get into this mess. Ouch! Ouch! Ugh. Is this really necessary? Oh, yeah. All wastewater's got to go through a preliminary treatment phase. First, bar screens filter out the big stuff. Then, it's off to the teacups. Oh, boy! It's a merry-go-round! Where heavy grit and sand are removed to save wear and tear on the equipment. Forget about it, Mike. Just hold on tight, and may the centrifugal force be with you. Centrifugal force? What the... <laughs> centrifugal force is the force that pulls an object outward when it's moving in a cycle. And you're out of here to root a primary clarifier to the anoxic basin. Though. It ought to be. There are billions of microorganisms here, all doing the same job, as only they can do to. Cleaning the water by eating several hundred tons of poop a day. I'm poop just thinking about it. 
These guys are anaerobic bacteria. Just like weightlifters, they don't require free oxygen to get the job done. No oxygen. I think we better get you out of there. Oh my gosh! The whole gang's here! Surprise! Look! There's the nematodes. And the rotifers. Watch out for those Soctoria. They'd eat their own sister cells. And there's my family. Hey, you guys. My. Hey, everybody. It's my. You silly old silly. How you been? Come, join us. So weak. John, do you mind? Sure, pal. Knock yourself out. Mike and the rest of his little buddies are aerobic bacteria. Just like these finely tuned athletes, they need plenty of oxygen so they can boogie down all day and all night. Here at South Cross, there are six aeration tanks, just like this one. They've all got bubble diffusers sitting on the bottom to distribute the oxygen evenly. That's important, because when it comes to cleaning wastewater, you gotta keep up with the biochemical oxygen demand. See, the more oxygen you give bacteria, the more they eat. The more they eat, the more they multiply. It's all a matter of balance. Too much bacteria, they die, because there's not enough food. Too little, and the water doesn't get clean. It's all part of the nitrogen cycle. All life requires nitrogen, but only bacteria can use it in its simplest form. See, the nitrogen molecule is one tough customer. It takes a lot of energy to break it apart so its atoms can combine with other atoms. In nature, that happens in the atmosphere, or through decay. When living things die, their nitrogen compounds are broken down by nitrifying bacteria and turned into nitrates. Denitrifying bacteria use the oxygen from nitrates and release nitrogen into the atmosphere. Lightning sends the nitrogen back down to it, where nitrifying bacteria in the soil convert it to a simpler form that can be absorbed by plants. Then the whole shebang starts all over again. And that's kind of what happens at South Cross Bio. A mob of microbes stuffs themselves with nitrates and release it as water, gases, and sludge. Mmm, nitrogen. Scrumptious. Eek! How rude. You make me sick, E. coli. That strain makes everybody sick. Hey, what can I say? E. coli happens. That's your cue. Say goodbye, Mike. Bye, you guys. Thanks for everything. Hey, Shaka, you wiped out. That's right. When the kinetic energy of moving water slows, gravity pulls the heavy stuff down. Lighter objects float to the surface and... Duck! Where's the duck? I don't see a duck. You just miss getting skinned off. Ooh, sounds painful. Jeez, that nasty E. coli just won't let it go. Don't worry, the bad guys always get it in the end, if you know what I mean. Wait till he comes in contact with the hypochlorous acid that forms when chlorine is added to water. Whatever it does, I hope it does it quick. Pow! Disinfected, just like that. That was kind of freaky. I'm out of here. Good idea. <laughs> Waterfly! I don't know which one to choose. Just pick one and see where it takes you. Ah! Those purple pipes are sending out about 20 million gallons of reclaimed water every single day. <laughs> Believe it or not, that water is now 99.9% .9 pure. Not safe for drinking, but plants love it. Treated water can be used for watering lawns, agriculture, golf courses, parks, and stuff like that. Woohoo! I guess you could say Mike has come full cycle. He had a load of fun, but he also learned a thing or two on his journey through South Cross Bayou. In Pinellas County, wastewater doesn't just go down the drain. It's treated as a valuable resource, because when you use reclaimed water, it conserves 
Florida's precious drinking water. Our utilities aren't just messing around. They go above and beyond the call of duty and use the latest technology to protect our water and our environment. But they might as well just throw all that hard work in the toilet if you don't help too. And it's so easy. Just don't waste water, don't dump chemicals, and you'll have water conservation in the can. It's like I've always said. <laughs> Marker, cue bubbles and action. Wait till he comes in contact with the hypochlorous acid that forms when chlorine is added to water. Whatever it does, I hope it does it quick. What the heck was that? <laughs> <laughs> was that a piece of corn? <laughs> Marker, and action. Jeez, that nasty E. coli just won't let it go. Don't worry. <laughs> Marker. And action. Look! There's the nematodes. And the rotifers. Oh, <laughs> Marker. Ready, pyrotechnics, and action. Okay, John. Whoa, watch out, we got a rogue rocket. Oh, whoa, look to your left. To your right. Watch out. Hey. Uh oh. Now you have to animate that. <laughs> <laughs>